leave it to Alfa Romeo to ruin Mercedes's fun. Now, as Mercedes released their car at Silverstone, the W11, Alfa Romeo announced that they have already done a shakedown and a test of their car around the Fiorano test circuit in Italy. And they have released photos of what their new car looks like. And at first look, wow. It's definitely the most impressive car I think we've seen so far in the livery and the new car aspect. Now, this new Alfa Romeo is absolutely stunning to look and is almost a real reversal of what it was like last year. We had the white and red, the colours of the actual brand, and it looked like a lighter side car. But this time, we're going into the dark side. Now, this time last year, they released a test livery and then changed it. So, a disclaimer out there first. I'm not getting too excited about this because of that reason. And if I remember correctly, the one last year was black and red, looked like kind of a poker face. And I'll say they changed it for uh, Melbourne. But the one that they've released today is absolutely stunning. So the th the so the th so the C39 is the new car by Alfa Romeo Orlen. Now Orlen is portrayed around the car as their biggest sponsor. I believe Orlen came from Williams last year. That was one of the big sponsors of Robert Kibitza. Obviously, he was signed earlier in the year as their test driver. I believe he's now with talks in going into DTM. But he's still got links with the team. Anyways, so the Alfa Romeo car looks really good. Now, as you can see, it's a black and white kind of checkered livery going from white to dark places. But the thing that I love about this car is just look at the Alfa Romeo badge. Now, it's in the shape of a heart, maybe because it's Valentine's Day today. Maybe they will keep that. I don't know. But look at that fading red badge. It's absolutely lovely. I hope they keep that on the car for the rest of the season. Orlen is on the rear wing and has cemented all around the car with a few more sponsors, of course, Pirelli and the beer. Singer is a sponsor of the team. Now, it's not on the rear wing, but Daniel Ricciardo might fancy the front wing as it might make him a bit husky. Husky Chocolates have sponsored Alfa Romeo. Now, I don't know if they're staying with McLaren, but they're definitely sponsoring Alfa Romeo now, so hide your front wings from Daniel Ricciardo. In terms of the actual look of the car, it looks quite nice. You can definitely see a triangular exhaust and they've really reshaped that. Now, we still have very big side pods kind of going in the opposite direction of the other teams and a very quirky front leading down to the front wing. That's as far as my uh, technical talk goes. It does look really nice and, as I say, that livery is amazing. Kimi Raikkonen launched photos today of his black race suit. Now, they were shared on Twitter almost kind of breaking up Mercedes's party. Now, that's when everyone got talking. And, of course, they've already tested around the circuit. The car came out today in the blue-marked wet compound tyres around Fiorana. It looks lovely. And, yeah, not much to say about that. But that's Alfa Romeo's car. Supposed to release next week, sometime next week, I believe. I think it was on the 19th. But there we go. They have released today. Now, of course, they'll have an official car launch on that day with Kimi and Antonio Giovinazzi. But they've released their car today, and it looks amazing. Let us know in the comment section below what you think of the Alfa Romeo. Of course, the C39 not expected to be released today. We've already shared photos of Mercedes car, but I know that they're doing some testing around uh, Silverstone and had a live launch on Sky Sports F1. So that's kind of drawn eyes away from that. And yeah, that is a lovely car. And it's nice just to see a different a team changing the livery and going for something else instead of going all same old, same old like all the other teams. Again, later on today, we have Alpha Tori, which I do believe will be the team to change. Obviously, a new team, they will be going in the way of maybe their brand colours, which are black and white. Possibly kind of a tie to Red Bull, of course, as it is the subsidiary brand, clothing brand of Red Bull. But they are free to go in whatever direction they want to. Anyways, that has been Alpha Mail. Thank you very much for listening. And until next car launch, we'll see you later.